Hey, what's up? Dr. Taylor, Spire Chiropractic. Today I want to talk to you about some of the tools, one in, one in particular that we have here in the office that we use to help you better. So one thing that we have, and you'll see this relatively commonly at chiropractic offices, but they're not all over the place. Don't ask me why, is x-ray. So here in the office, we have digital x-ray, and basically what it allows us to do is actually see the bone. Would an x-ray show bones? Yeah, it's weird, right? Not every chiropractor out there is gonna take an x-ray of your spine. I don't know why. Personally here, in Aspire Chiropractic, Dr. James Taylor, I like to see what I'm working on, right? So if we've got you, got your spine, and you're like, hey doc, it hurts right here. So your spine is what? It's 24 individual vertebra, right? It's a flexible bony tube. So if we've got a bone, Right there, we've got another bone in your spine right there. Just for orientation purposes, we're looking at your spine from the side here. Here's the front, here's the back, here's a disc. This joint complex is supposed to move. It's supposed to allow you to bend and twist and stretch. But what happens is this joint complex gets out of sorts, for lack of a better word. It can cause issues with the discs going on there. And what that's gonna do is cause inflammation, cause pain in the disc. We can have pain with the nerves happening here. We can have pain in the joints on the back side of the spine. Basically, there's a lot of stuff going on that could potentially go wrong, and it can go wrong for a number of different things. Obviously, lifting properly or, you know, playing with your kids, work issues, stuff like that. But you come in and you're like, Doc, it hurts right here. So what do we do? We do a thorough exam. We check each individual bone in the spine, all 24 of them, we have you bend some ways and move some ways to find out what you can do, what you can't do. And these hands here can tell a whole lot just based on a physical exam. But the one thing they can't do is they can't see, right? So if we've got your spine and it encloses your spinal cord and every nerve in your body comes out of it, it'd probably be a really good idea to get a look at it. So. How do we get a look at it? We take an x-ray. What does an x-ray do though? How does it work? That's what I want to talk about here. Just everyone's had an x-ray taken in some way, shape or form, or they've seen an x-ray machine, or they've seen a picture of an x-ray. But how does it work? What, what does an x-ray do? So let's talk about that. Now, this is gonna be in a way that you can understand it. You being the general YouTube viewer. If you're a physicist and you're watching this, don't call me. <laughs> obviously the physics on this isn't going to be entirely accurate but generally speaking we've got our x-ray tube there's basically stuff in here that generates x-rays x-rays are a thing right and they shoot out of the tube and they shoot at a plate so we've got that there we've got you the patient standing in front of the plate smile on your face Super excited about what's going to happen, what we're going to see. So we take an x-ray so we can see the bone. We can see what's happening. So the x-rays shoot out of the tube. This thing here is the tube. They shoot into the body. They go through the body and they hit the plate. What it does for all intents and purposes is it creates a reverse shadow. So if we've got this here. Actually, we'll leave that up there for demonstration purposes. If we go back to the plate, Let's pretend right here, right there, that this is the plate we're looking at. Here's it from the side, it's turned this way. It's a white sheet. The x-rays come out, they hit the body, they go through the body, and when they hit the plate, they turn the plate black. Any x-ray that makes it from the tube through the body onto the plate turns it black. Just like so. Now, when these x-rays come out, they're coming out with two factors that we want to be con concerning ourselves with. Force, how hard are they going through? How fast are they going? Is, is it this is a pitcher's fastball or just a changeup? And then the number of x-rays. How many x-rays are coming out? Is it just one or is it a whole bunch? Pew, 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 pew. So what happens is these x-rays come out with force and they come out in a certain number and they go into the body, they hit the plate. But some of them get stuck in the body. So the more dense the thing is, let's say, oh, I don't know, hypothetically bone, the harder it is for the x-rays to go through. 
So x-rays will go through soft tissue. They'll go through water. They'll go through the body, hit the plate, and they'll turn the plate black when they run into it. But if the x-rays go into the body and get stuck, they don't come out the other side. They don't hit the plate. So what happens is they cast a shadow or a reverse shadow that I'm talking about. So the x-rays come out. The ones like even around the body, they go through, they hit the plate, they turn it black. But then there's some that get stuck in the bone. So they don't make it to the plate. And it leaves this area where no x-rays have touched it. So it's still white because remember, that's how this thing starts off. And what happens is, then we see the bones. We see this reverse shadow. So I've got a daughter. She is in first grade. And what does she do? She comes home with picture drawings. And where's the, where's the sun on your picture drawings in first grade? It's up here in the corner. So we'll do that right there. We'll give the sun some sunglasses. We'll put some rays going out here. Here is you standing down on the ground. The rays leave the sun and then they cast this shadow here, right? This is literally the same premise that we've got going on here. Here's our sun, we'll put some sunglasses on our x-ray tube, because it's cool. Shooting out x-rays, hits the body, casts a shadow. This is what puts the bones on the screen, on the screen of the computer screen that we're looking at. This is what allows us to see exactly what those things look like. So you come in here and you're like, Doc, it hurts right there. Okay, cool, it feels, through physical exam, that it's not moving right. It might have a little twist or a torque. It's causing muscle spasms. Might be a little warm to the touch. We got some inflammation going on. We take an x-ray and we look at it. The thing pops up on the screen and we see something like this. So now we're looking at the body from behind here. And you see this big old torque in it. This thing should be straight up and down. We take a picture of it and all of a sudden you're bent. Well, there's your problem. We felt it, we found it, we determined it couldn't move, and then literally in black and white, we see that it's, it's out of place. That's what we need to fix. That's why we take x-rays here. To see is to know. And it's really just that simple. We want to do everything we can to get as much information as possible to help you out as good as we can. One of the tools we use here is digital x-ray. And we get that picture immediately. We can point to it right there. There's your problem. That's what we need to fix. So if you've got something going on that's kind of been aching, nagging, you want to see it. Hey, Doc, can you show me I'm not making it up? Absolutely. Give us a call. Walk right through that door. We're ready to help you when you're ready to be your best. Right here at Spire Chiropractic. Naturally. Naturally.